Hello, I am back with the vlog for stand-up comedy. So it's been kind of a long, grueling few weeks. I think the last vlog that I did was the last time I was on stage. And this has been a long process of healing through the mental health journey. I do not wish this process upon anybody in this capacity. And the thing about that is I, you know, I've been working on a lot of different things my approach to stand-up comedy, my schedule, a better kind of healthier stand standpoint when it comes to stand-up comedy. And today I have a journal with me from well before quarantine time went down. So I have a journal that basically has premises that I've either never tried on stage or if I did try them on stage, it was well before the pandy went down. So one of the things I'm gonna do is kind of see there is a car just parking next to me clearly sees me filming and still is taking its loud ass time anyway i'm here at benny's pub this place has has been a really really solid source of help for me with stand-up comedy as i go through this process of reforming how i'm doing comedy on stage and how i'm just kind of breaking things down and building them back up so you know, one of the things that really helped me mental health wise, so I'm gonna be super, super honest here. So one of the things that helped me mental health wise was, you know, I, and everybody's different. So everybody's doing a different process and a different journey. And part of that is for me, I'm work, I'm telling you this car is taking its time and pulled in, backed up, pulled in, backed up. That's what happens when you're in Hagerstown, Maryland, okay? It's just like there. <laughs> So for me, the mental health journey is one of those journeys that's super grueling. Um, it's digging in, you know, everybody's mental health journey is different. So for me, like, I have to be super honest that one of the things I'm working with is, you know, suicidal ideations, anxiety, depression, really bad social anxiety where before it was super visceral, I couldn't walk into a room without just breaking out into sweat and having hyperventilations and hearing a therapist be like this is your body this is visceral you can't control this right now and so this is kind of my test to see if a i'm a better comic for all this work that's being done that's super vulnerable super embar embarrassing but there's the only way out in this journey is through so even if i were to want to go back to a big booming loud busy competitive comedy scene i have to go through this right now um i'm grateful where i'm at in my life and you know that i do have at least the support of being able to go back to my roots um but i'll leave it there uh you know but with the journey of stand-up comedy this means more to me than anything stand-up comedy means more to me than anything and you know, I was thinking as I was driving up here, it's about like an hour. I looked at the, I, I think I did it about an hour 20, hour 30 minutes to come up here. And I was thinking about like all of the years I've put in with comedy and all the traveling. And there are no, like, there is no extra special stars that you get for the hours of travel you've gone in you know, the, 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 <laughs> I think I was thinking about a time I was trying to get to a gig and I was running out of gas and I was like, I hope I get there, you know, and I got there and I made it there early. And, you know, I think about these kinds of things that there's things that people just don't see. So I'll think about that when I go on stage tonight. It's like, I might not be perfect, but at least like, at you know, I might not be perfect on stage tonight, which is not the goal. The goal is to be able to present new material and to be able to be true to myself. And hopefully I can make this funny. And hopefully that my process that I'm going through now, if another comedian's out there and you're kind of feeling stuck between a rock and a hard place, you're having a lot of FOMO, which is so, well, that's what I'm experiencing right now is like mad FOMO because, you know, I see everybody posting online and I've had to like kind of also through my mental health process kind of 
figure out what my online connection is because a lot of the stuff that I realized is like me like almost like projecting that other people are having this perfect life and I'm just this person who's struggling through like even just being able to walk in a room with people and I know that that's not the case I know that I'm not alone in this journey so I'm putting my journey out there because all I'm seeing online is not this you know you have to kind of look through hashtags on TikTok but like this is also part of the journey a lot of comedians are very sensitive and I've lost enough comedians to know I just lost a really really good friend of mine so like I'm putting this out there as a source of like, no, you can start from scratch and it can look completely different than maybe what your mentors did or people that you really looked up to did or people that you've maybe put on a pedestal have done and it's not, it's a messy process. Creativity is a messy process. And I'm here on a new moon in Cancer, which I think is super symbolic of this. Like, I'm here on a new moon, new day, the North Node has entered Aries, you know, in a very beautiful, powerful, authoritative position, asking us to take back our power in many ways. And I see that as beautiful symbolism. And as somebody who loves astrology, I see it as a gift, um, an honored gift to be able to be literally in my home state. That means so much to me. In my roots, which is Cancerian energy home roots family and legit go on stage and say these jokes and and take back my power and realize like I'm in my feminist power and if women are out there or those who identify or those who are allies to to the divine feminine you know bless so many blessings because all of our processes are struggling through these tunnels that we cannot see through the other side and it's like yeah there's a fucking other side to this shit and i'm gonna go film this set tonight i'll break it down i'll figure out how i'm gonna put it on the vlog because it's new material i don't know if i want to put it all on the vlog but i'll put like what i feel is correct if it's the whole set or if it's just part of the set and and partly I'm inspired because I was having a really rough day a couple weeks ago and a comedian from Baltimore named Byron Brooks, uh, he posted his documentary. He's doing like a comedy documentary vlog and he talked about his journey and in his second episode he shouted out a whole bunch of people that are really amazing comedians and he shouted me out. And I just want to say, you know, shout out to Byron Brooks because a huge piece of why I'm still filming and why I'm still going is because of your documentary. So check out Byron Brooks. Um, I'll link his documentary in the show notes as well. He's a comedian out of Baltimore and he is just a really cool person. He does the UFC stuff and I, I do th kickboxing. I don't know like the difference between all, all of the things that people do with like the hitting and the kicking but I think it's kickboxing and he has a gym and I'll link his stuff in the show notes so you can check out his gym because he reminded me that this is also a gym and the reason why I come to Benny's pub in Hagerstown Maryland, Hagerstown, Maryland is because this is a fucking gym and it's not just a gym to like get on stage but it's a gym for like how can you revisit your roots differently how can you go into this, this space and recreate this energy for yourself? How can you dig into your roots and really sit with the emotions of it, but also be like, this is what created me. This is what made me, and I'm going to be stronger for it. It's created this strong person. So I'm here on a mental health journey and slowly but surely, you know, getting through this. So I'll be back with part two of this vlog and uh check me out on social media and i'll i'll put everything i'll make this per mic slash say hi nick hey how you doing so mr nick todd i'm here with nick nicholas what do you prefer nick todd i'm here with the what's your what's your um wrestling name 
That was Nicholas Todd. Nicholas Todd. <laughs> Nicholas Todd, the great and famed wrestler right here at Benny's Pub in Hangerstown, Maryland. I just want to say thank you so much. Because thank you. Because you're in one of the best rooms. Oh, that, I appreciate that. You've brought a lot of healing to me. Can, can you introduce yourself? Like, what are you doing here at Benny's Pub? Um, I'm Nick Ty. We've been running uh, comedy here for about a year and a half now at our open mics, and we are very much into bringing in new people, bringing in first-time comics or established comics, and just getting uh, giving their time on stage. And Nick, what brought you here to Hagerstown, Maryland? I know this is an awkward interview, but it's going to be edited somewhat. What brought you here to Hagerstown? Well, we were running out of Funkstown, Maryland, not too far from here, but uh, maybe, I don't know, seven, eight minutes away. Uh, things, we needed to progress, and we went into a different direction and came here to, to Benny's Pub, and they've been very welcoming here, and they, they offer us a great atmosphere and reasonably priced uh, food and drinks, and great food for that matter. And when's the next show? We'll be back here on the 31st of this month. Fuck yeah. So I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you, Nick. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. Right. Um, peace and love. Take All care. Right. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Thank you. I just want to note and add in that this has all been a spiritual journey for me. And um, I was trying to upload this the first time. And then my intuition, I pulled the chariot, the three of wands reversed ace of cups and asked why in the hell this shit's not uploading and my intuition was like point a camera and talk and this is the part that needs to go into the vlog so I don't know why these three cards need added but it, it's my intuition is saying that add some spirituality into this so adding some spirituality into this feel like a fucking failure. This is the day after. I feel like as somebody who's like creating content, like everything I've been doing for 10 years, it's just always, it's just so fucking frustrating to be like, I'm doing this creative career and it's just never enough. It's just like, what more do I want? My social media numbers, Sometimes I look at videos and it's like zero. God damn it. Like this is my intuition said to record and I look like shit. But it's just like what more? It's comedy isn't just like all the years and hours. It's also like you have to be like this fucking superstar online. And honestly, like I didn't get into comedy because I'm a fucking glamazon. Look at me. Like I love doing comedy. But the pressure to like be a perfect looking model and to like have like a million followers and to also like be perfect has just astounded me and I guess my cards wanted me to let that know I boogers and all let the let this whatever this is all part of it too is like comedy is a mental health journey as well and I'm reporting the good bad and the ugly and like I it's not pretty look at me <laughs> like, it's not a pretty journey so do I live getting on stage yeah do I not even understand the part like I'm looking at this thing and I wrote this book right I wrote this book over a span of two weeks and then I started putting my shit online with the book and then like to figure out how to publish and market a book I'm looking at like a, a well-established like book writer's website and she's like to enroll in my book writing course it's like a thousand plus dollars and then you go to this other thing and it's like to enroll on how to become the best woman you can be it's like three thousand plus dollars and it's like i i don't know what more i don't know what more i don't know what more i can do so if this is what my 
spirits are telling me, my spirit guides are telling me to do is like insert this crying video of me being like, I am pacing myself and going as freaking slow. Oh, there's definitely going to be a filter on this one. I'm pacing myself and going as slow as I possibly can, but also like have all these dreams. And all I want to do is be funny on stage. And in order, I don't think people realize if you're not a stand-up comedian watching this, if you're a stand-up comedian, you get it. Or if you're a business owner, you get it, but you can't just be one thing. Like, the times have changed. In order to even just be a comedian, you have to be, you have to have a podcast, you have to have your clips out, you have to have, you have to write a best-selling book, you have to, it's a lot. So it's not just like, it's not just like one thing. So, yeah, I want to publish... I really want to publish the book that I wrote, but I'm not there yet, and I think this book could really help people, especially if you're, like, in a hard place, because it just shows, like, even if you've got $2 to your name, even if you have to restart, even if you feel lost, even if COVID done fucked up your shit, that there's still a higher vision, there's still a greater vision to keep going. And this is the good, the bad, and the ugly right now. Not saying that I'm like always ugly. I look okay when you put like concealer and shit on me, but like I'm gonna put this on the internet too, because sometimes you're just in this piece of your life as well. So it's late. So it's, but I want to do a quick update that everything went well when it came to the mic tonight, working on my material, everything kind of is just in this, just working, going with the flow, staying, it, staying as consistent as possible. So now I do my thing and I just do the long drive back south and uh, back to the drawing board from what I've learned through my set. And I want to thank Benny's Pub, Nick Tide, for running a really, really great room. It's a testament to how hard this work is and how this is a grind or and how much dedication you have to have within the work. So I'm here showing up and thanks for watching my vlog. That's where I lost you. I lost you on that work. <laughs> I lost you on oysters. What is this over here? Maybe it's a tarot card, who knows? Aww, it's a receipt. <laughs> no, this is a sign. Okay, so it's from March 5th, 2020 at 10 20 p.m. at Flappers Comedy Club. And I've been seeing the number 305, 305, 305, and I thought it was Pitbull. That's what I thought. I thought it was Pitbull. And here the shit falls on the floor, letting me know my dead friends still love me. So. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a spiritual person. I believe that comedy is like a spiritual sport. Your comedy comrades on the other side let you know. So that's an emotional moment. So we got to horse cocks and I didn't get the light yet. So I want to talk about this premise. Oh, now I get the light.